tell us a little bit about yourself, Mr. Parker? Not much to tell, really. Peter lives with his aunt and uncle. Did you catch that spider guy yet? No, but we will. This guy wears a mask like an outlaw. I think he's trying to do something maybe the police can't. Can't? <laughs> <clears throat> you know, if you're gonna steal cars, don't dress like a car thief. You a cop? You seriously think I'm a cop? In a skin tie, red and blue suit. Yeah, yeah he, it, it is. It is a little strange to yeah. not have him here. He's such a a symbol of. Yeah. of I mean, he is Spider-Man, so it, it does. Um, but it's fun. I mean, yeah. it's been I mean, fun Andrew, getting to kind yeah. of. Yeah. yeah. Andrew's first. He's an actor first and foremost. I think that's what he that he that's what he loves to do, and yeah. and and. I mean, that, that's what's great about having him as a Peter Parker is that there's a, such an... I mean, he, is, he, he really cares very deeply about, about the process of acting, and, and it's really fun to watch uh, uh, a role that... In a film that is a, a you know, big commercial uh, film with an actor of, uh, with actors of, of that caliber. <laughs> that storyline is so iconic and so groundbreaking for, in comic book history, and I think it's... I really love that Gwen is a damsel in distress. I know a lot of people are like, she's a badass female, it's got a life of her own. I think that she's 17 and there's a big element to Gwen that is figuring a lot out. She has this father that goes out in the face of death every single day and then is drawn to this this boy who's, she's always surrounded by death kind of in a way. I am issuing an arrest warrant for the masked vigilante known as Spider-Man. Oh, I'm in trouble.